everybody. Welcome back to Sentimental Pastimes. My name is Cheryl. Today I will be showing you my finished Easter journal and what I did with the two kids for the Five Days of Easter collaboration that was hosted by Dear Julie Julie and Kara Brandon Creations. So <clears throat> I took the two Easter collaboration kits, and I also added the additional kits that were offered by both um, Kara and Julie, and I tried to use minimal things from my stash to show that you don't need very much to make yourself a journal. So let me get into this. I have kept the cover very simple because I put my journals on a shelf, and I, although I like the elaborate covers, a lot of times when you put them on a shelf and they get squished and distorted, and so I, I, I usually just keep my covers pretty simple, you know, um, for that reason. But I found this free printable online that says Happy Easter. It was actually a greeting card, and then I put two little... Um, leftovers from my diamond painting. They're iridescent and I stuck those on there. So I, I like the simple look of it. Now this journal is actually going to a friend of mine. So I kept some things simple also so that she can add to it or embellish or, you know, add stickers. She can put the date on it, you know, whatever she wants to do. So um, I also, that little tab that I showed you, I attached it to the outside of the journal, and she can take this out and put the date in it, or, you know, the date span of when the journal um, covers. She can put her, you know, whatever she wants on that little tab for information, and that is stuck to the front. You can tuck it under the, the ribbon to get it out of the way. So it just has a ribbon closure and it is chunky. So we'll open it up and I'll show you the inside. So in the front, I took the envelope from Kara that matches the background paper and I put those two writing boards on it. These writing boards are to put under the ephemera pieces so that you can write on a hard surface. So that's where they live inside the journal. And then I printed out this journal belongs to so that uh, she can put her name there. And again, I like white space because I like to be able to just write. You know, she can write poems. Uh, song lyrics. She can write little blurbs from her day. I went to Walmart today and picked this up. You know, she can put memories in here, pictures, just all different, you know, anything that she wants to do on the pages. So I do like white space. And that are, this is where that little tag lives. This is a piece of vellum that I added from my stash, which I think is very pretty. I love the colors and the butterflies, you know, just match really well. This page is one that I made during the collab with pieces from Julie and Kara's kits. And I put this little peachy colored um, envelope on this one and it has the journaling spot too. And then this little flip out card. It's got a little tag in there. She can write here and here's a, here's a journaling spot and then up here. All around here. You know, I love to look at my journals from years ago and just find things written everywhere. Just Your eye just has so much to look at and so much to take in and that's what I love. Each individual little memory that's so insignificant that had you not written it down, you would completely have forgotten that that even happened or, or, you know, it's, it's fun to keep those, those things. So I use this, um, piece as a little bit of a tuck spot slash small belly band there. And I decorated a tag from Kara 
and put a, um, a piece on there and distressed it and put an eyelet in there. I might, I need to, sorry about the traffic. I need to put a um, little ribbon in there now that I'm thinking about it. I've got this pink doily and here's this page that I made during the collab. I took one of uh, Kara's corner tuck spots and I made a matching um, you know, tuck for this little tag and I used the hat and then I coordinated the bling, which is what's the same thing that's on the butterfly. Here, I took the button off. I had a paper button there, so I took it off. But I did um, put this here, and I also just made two plain um, tags to go in here so that she can put stickers. She can, you know, embellish these any way she wants. You have to have room, if you're using a journal, you have to have room to grow the journal, you know, and if every little spot is filled, you're not going to have room to put things that actually happen like during Easter time or during springtime. So you want to leave yourself, you know, some space to add things. And um, I love this eco dyed paper that my son did and that flower is just beautiful. I could not cover that up. So, you know, that space is available. This is um, that page that I made during the collab. And um, this one is just some white space to journal on. I took a little poem out of an old book that I had. It's about a uh, hair and um, I thought that was appropriate. <laughs> I put one of Julie's fussy cuts on here. Here's the center page with the eggs. Over here, I put two pink um, pockets, and more white space, and a little doily. Here, I brought the green over to this page, and here's where I put this trifold and this little guy here and then there's a tag here and there's the piano paper but I just made a little pocket there that's the other side of the green paper here um, is the matchbook that she can use to journal on and I just put it in a coordinating pocket here is the bunny doily I just made a paper clip so it just slides right onto the page there's this little tuck spot more space to write she can write underneath here <clears throat> there's the other side of the doily and a tag with a tuck spot here is the envelope um, I did decide to just leave it open and she can do whatever she wants to do. If she wants to glue that shut and use it as an envelope, she can do that. Or she can write here. And I put two of the other little um, ephemera pieces in here. Here is that yellow. It brings the yellow from this page. Uh, and this is also a little tucky thing and here's this I put some pink paper on it for journaling there's a pocket here that she can tuck things in and a pocket here there's a pocket here with three tags that I made I put some lace on this a couple pieces of ribbon and one of Kara's fussy cuts then there's one that I made during the uh, Lab. and then I just took another piece of Kara's collab page and put it there. The other half of the vellum and then back here is a belly band with the purple and then this card which is a recipe card which I love and then one of Kara's little um, little cutouts there on the just simple. And then back here, there's plenty of room. There's another pocket here she can use. 
and then there's the back. And I bound it with some ribbon and um, left the ribbon hanging in the middle. So it's just a single signature journal that is, it's, it's already chunky, so it's just going to get chunkier and lovelier <laughs> as she adds to it. So there is my finished project. I really, really, really enjoyed this collaboration. I am tickled to death to have been a part of it. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else's finished projects. Not everyone made a journal. Some, some just made the um, pieces, you know, to go in a journal or folios or other things. But I'm anxious to watch and see what everybody else did for the wrap-up and flip-throughs. So everyone is linked below who took a part in this collaboration. Thank you to Julie at Dear Julie Julie and Kara from Kara Brandon Creations for allowing me to be a part of this. And um, I'm looking forward to doing more. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining me for this flip through. And I will be hopefully doing more journaling and on this channel. So stay tuned. And until I see you again, happy journaling.